this week's episode of Cheap, Fast, and Healthy. I'm Maria, and, I, and today I'll be your culinary corner instructor. In light of Thanksgiving being around the corner, we're going to be making vegan stuffing today. For this recipe, you'll need 10 cups of whole wheat bread, one diced onion, three cloves of garlic, two medium diced carrots, which is about two cups, and then you'll need four ribs of chopped celery, which is also about two cups, two teaspoons of dried sage, one teaspoon of ground thyme, half a teaspoon of dried rosemary, one to two cups of low sodium veggie broth, and a pinch of salt and pepper. Before we get started, make sure to wash your hands with warm, soapy water for at least 20 seconds. Make sure to get in between your fingers, around your wrists, and underneath your fingernails. First, we're gonna prepare our ingredients. You're gonna to wanna to dice your onion, which I already have from last week's episode. Onion is very good for you because it's loaded with antioxidants and it contains cancer-fighting compounds and it also has antibacterial properties. Next, you're gonna to wanna to mince your garlic. I like to first take off the head of the garlic and peel off the papery outside. Garlic is very good for you because it contains medicinal properties. Next, I'm going to mince the garlic. You're gonna to want to cut horizontal lines first, just like how you might cut an onion. I cut about three or four. And then you can cut a few vertical lines. And then you can cut lines side to side. And it should look something like this. Next, I'm going to wash and dice my carrots. First, I'm just gonna cut off the green part. This recipe calls for about two cups of carrots, but if you need more, you wanna have another carrot. If you're making another recipe, you can actually save the tips of the carrots for something else. Also, what I didn't know is that bunnies actually eat the ends of the carrots, not the carrots themselves. Okay, now I'm going to dice the carrots. Carrots are actually rich in a mineral called beta carotene, which is really important for brain, skin, and eye health. Next, I'm going to chop up my ribs of celery. First, I'm gonna wash it though. So I'm just gonna take off about four ribs. And then I'm going to chop off the bottom and the top. Next, I'm going to cut down the middle of the celery and then chop all the way down. Celery has a very low glycemic index, which is really good for keeping a steady blood sugar ratio. On medium heat, you're going to add your onion, celery, your carrots and your garlic into a saucepan. Next, you're gonna add about three tablespoons of low sodium veggie broth.
Make sure that it's low sodium veggie broth. A recommends about 2300 milligrams of sodium a day and the average American consumes about 3400. You're also going to add a pinch of salt and a pinch of black pepper. You're going to saute this for about seven to eight minutes. <laughs> After seven to eight minutes, you're going to put in your dried herbs. If it starts to become dried out, just add a little bit more veggie broth. In a large mixing bowl, you're going to add your whole wheat breadcrumbs. A benefit of using whole wheat is that it contains proteins, B vitamins, and other things like fiber that are really healthy for you, rather than a white bread. So then you're gonna turn, and then you're gonna turn off the heat for your veggies, and then you're gonna grab an oven mitt and transfer your veggies into the bowl with the breadcrumbs. And then you're going to give this all a stir. You're going to slowly incorporate your veggie broth. And I usually use about a cup and a half, but you can use more if you need to, but just make sure that it's not soggy, but that it's just wet enough so that it's all incorporated. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more of my veggie broth. And then just keep stirring until it's all incorporated. When you're done mixing, it should look something like this, where it's not soggy, but it's all a little wet. Now you're going to transfer it into a 9 by 12 inch pan. It can also be a little bigger or smaller. Next, you're going to cover your pan in aluminum foil, and then you're going to bake for 35 minutes at 350 degrees. After you take the pan out, you're going to remove the tin foil and bake for another 10 to 15 minutes until the top is golden brown. This can be served right away, or it can be refrigerated in the fridge for up to four days. Something to note about this recipe is that it's vegan and uh, veganism is really good for like heart health and it can reduce your risk of certain cancers and a bunch of other health benefits. It's also a good option for people that just don't eat meat. <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's episode of Cheap, Fast and Healthy where we made vegan stuffing. If you made this recipe, please remember to tag us on social media at UND Wellness. Also, Remember to look at us up on YouTube at UND Wellness. Thanks for watching. See you next week.